Sagittarius. Hi, I am Taylor Schuler, your astrologer here with your horoscope for April 2023. This is a big month for everyone, and I'm actually really excited for you, Sagittarius, because I feel like you are really turning a corner for yourself with healing through joy and healing through pleasure and fun and play and games and knowing that you can feel really liberated by all of those things. So April 5th and 6th, a tremendous amount of opportunity around any of those topics, including dating and romance and also your friends as well. So make sure you're getting out with your friends, have a barbecue, something like that. Uh, if you've got patrons who are supporting you with your work, that may be something else that comes up for you. Then by the time we get to April 20th, there's going to be a power surge in this area where you get to plant new seeds for new opportunities about your joy and pleasure or your relationship with your children and also creativity. So get out those art supplies, have a good time, have fun, be playful. Remember, like, it's okay to be a kid <laughs> and it's super fun. You're going to really help other people with your example of being able to be playful and be fun. Then uh, April 21st, we're going to see the sun move into Taurus. It's going to highlight your sixth house of your daily work, your routines, your coworkers, colleagues, and also any small pets. So if you're thinking about getting a furry companion, this may be the time of year that you choose to do so. And it feels really good for you. You may like start to be like, oh, I, I, I found the one who's for me. And then find that you have to go back and like get their tags redone or something like that. You have to go, like you didn't sign the paperwork, you left a receipt or something like that. Um, but I think that these changes that you have in the tor the corner that you turn about your joy and pleasure is really going to make an impact on how you choose to spend your time every day. So Taurus, let me know, what are you planning for the month of April? What are you most excited about? And what questions do you have? Leave me some comments below and I would love to respond. All right. I hope you have a wonderful, joy-filled, pleasurable month of April. Take good care and I'll see you again next time. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of On Thriving. If you found this episode valuable, please hit follow and then rate and leave a review on your favorite podcast provider. Hit subscribe and the bell on YouTube and write to me in the comments. Your support helps the show reach more listeners and enables us to continue to create valuable content for you. Does your work not light you up anymore? Do you know this job just isn't it? That there's more to life and work than feeling irritated and unhappy? You can see both the problems and solutions that would make your clients happy and would make the world a better place, but your employer has another agenda and they're not fully leveraging your skills and expertise. Maybe you know that you're ready for a career change or retirement, or you're already in the process of starting your own business, but you need guidance to put the missing pieces together so you can figure out what you're going to do, how to make it successful, and when to make the leap. If you are a passionate and talented professional, entrepreneur, or leader who has checked all the boxes of what society tells you you're supposed to do to be successful, like get an education, get a day job that aligns with your skills, follow a budget, clock in and out on time, and meet or even exceed your performance goals, and yet you're feeling unfulfilled, overworked, drained, underappreciated, burned out, and either underpaid or handcuffed to your salary, let me ask you this. What if you could love what you do every single day, get your needs met abundantly, love where you are, and love who you spend your time with? If that sounds like what you're ready for, to thrive with more love, fulfillment, ease, abundance, and happiness in your life, then you should grab a free copy of my complete guide to making your daydream your reality, which will help you get from blocked and stuck on how to get from where you are in your job and your life to clear and confident on how to do work you love every day so you can stop surviving and start thriving. The guide will help you identify the optimal strategies for you to not only figure out how to do what you love every day, but how to make it profitable and articulate your why, your purpose, so you have a clear guiding light to build and leave a legacy and make your mark on the world. Whether you don't know any astrology at all or are a professional astrologer, this guide will help you launch your glow up so you can live the life of your dreams. You can get it on my webpage for this episode over at taylorshuler.com slash horoscopes. If you want to accelerate your journey to living your purpose and get practical tools you can use to build your life and your business, 
I invite you to join the community at our Thriving Together level. You'll have full, exclusive, early access to my new materials, the ability to ask me your questions and get your chart read live, and connect with like-minded people you can collaborate with. Learn more and join now at taylorshuler.com slash thrive. Be sure to follow us on social media for updates and behind the scenes content. We'll be back next week with another episode, so be sure to tune in. Thank you again for listening and until next time, keep thriving.